Hey everybody, well I'm up in uh, Orange County tonight and Terrell, my uh, my Los Angeles digging buddy, made the trek down from LA to Orange County. So I'm in an Orange County beach. Not sure, actually let's take a look. Not sure what to expect as far as how the sand looks. I'm hoping for a cut. And it looks like there is, but it started getting sanded in again. See that cut right there. And maybe we'll have some luck anyway. We'll give it a whirl. It is uh, peak low tide was about 30 minutes ago. So tide's coming in. Let's get busy. First tone was coming in high, but they would kept cutting out. So I kicked some sand away. Cleaned up a bit, mid 20s. The sand is so soft, the ocean is definitely throwing in massive quantities of sand. Oh, come on, Greg. I'll get it eventually, I promise. There we go. Starting out with, looks like a dime. Getting the sunlight. Yeah, that's a dime. I don't have high hopes. Well, you see how soft this is, just walking normal and it's just so soft. But anyway, I got a really low tone, like a, a necklace would come in, but also like a, a piece of aluminum slaw would come in, which is exactly what that is. Aluminum. Yeah. Kinda sounds terrible, but I'm curious. Let's see what things are sounding like. Hearing. Something. Bracelet, earring. Nothing. I don't know. We'll take a look later. Curiosity has me on this one. 36, 37. It's right in the middle of this kind of a cut. Penny here somewhere and it's rejecting. Twisty tie. Alright. It's gonna be one of those nights, I think. Well I heard one that sounded just like a bottle cap, so I'm like, yeah, I'll pick up this bottle cap. It's actually a coin. Let me turn into the light here and see if we can see what the heck this thing is. on it but listen how terrible this sounds horrible foreign coin I'll take it all right let's keep on plugging I got a 10 tone kind of sounds like hell but I figure if I work the edge of the cut it's the next stuff to fall down once the waves come up there's some goodies. I see some like a beaded bracelet or something. Let's see what this is. Okay. Beaded bracelet for sure. And I think in my scoop I have whatever metal charm is on it that I was hearing. Alright, I'll save that before I lose it. Oh, there's a little metal, metal piece. All right, let me put this away. And let's see what's in my scoop, if anything. Oh. Yep, there's more. 
more of it. Right there. Well, it's jewelry, can't complain. Another good solid mid 20s and as I barely drag my scoop over, I think I see a coin right there. Right on top. And a nice and green one. I think I'll keep doing what I'm doing right up against this uh, old cut. What's gonna ring 40? Well now it's high 20s, low 30s. In the scoop. All right. Uh, crusty green quarter. I'll take that. Right, this was a one-two tone. Now it's in my scoop, and it's something kind of big and chunky. So I thought it was just going to be. I don't know what I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's one of those air freshness. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so Terrell hasn't even found a coin yet, and then he calls me over and he found a ring. It's my first look at it. It does have some weight to it. It's obviously been in the ground a while. It's pretty beat up. Would it ring up high or low or what? It rang up in the 40s on my machine. And you have the manicure. Which is a mid tone. Yeah. It's obviously not gold. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing maybe it's steel. Oh wait a minute, I got it. Let's see what it rings up on the on the knocks. Twenty-three. That could be silver. It's not steel. Could be silver. We'll get some photos. The beaver tail of a beaver tail pull tab. Well, frustrating to say the least. The, dry, uh, the wet sand wasn't really doing much, so we went up to the dry sand and there's just metal everywhere and it's bonfire crap. And I know there's good stuff in there. I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, but I came back towards the towel line. And I'm working my way back to the car. Can't get there fast enough. Um, this rang in like a penny. Copper, obviously. But it was, at one point, a bracelet. So, jewelry. But, uh, yeah. I'm kind of hightailing it back to the car. This is really frustrating. Not enjoying myself. <laughs> Which is rare. Usually I enjoy myself under any circumstance, but I mean these conditions are just This dry sand is the worst the trashiest I have ever been in and that's that's pretty bad Anyway, got me a portion of a bracelet All right, sorry for the noise in the background. I'm in the parking garage of my hotel uh, quick wrap up on this hunt this like I was saying, it is was one of the most frustrating uh, hunts just because the quantity of, of trash targets in the dry sand was frustrating. Wet sand didn't have much. High hopes, seeing partial cut, but it was then filled back in with sand and just, just didn't turn out how I was hoping. But I did find a portion of a bracelet. Uh, I've got this beaded bracelet and it's got the little metal ends. That's why that came through. That I thought initially earring, I don't know. It's delaminating, whatever it is. Uh, one quarter, three dimes, two pennies is all I got. And then this is a Canadian dime. So that is it for this hunt. So reality of metal detecting. It doesn't always turn out great. Uh, so that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.